Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. So yesterday evening I bought the ancient Sony STR-DB950 AV receiver and amplifier. So the setup told me that the coax connection did break, so it's loose. But as you're able to see, the coax connection itself, the data line, is probably still connected. And by the looks of it, the coax connector has just slipped out of the casing. So I'm supposing that if we take this apart, we might be able to fix it. So let's actually have a crack by opening this thing. Now there aren't any screws. But let's, yeah, I think this side should come off first. Do we oh, don't need to open this metal can which holds all the analog circuitry required to process the FM signals. And it would be nice to have a working FM AM receiver again. So this is the FM and this is the AM circuitry, supposedly. And we do need to as you can see the, the thing is still connected so it's hopefully just a matter of putting this back together putting this connector back in here and I think we can solder this together because it needs the grounding of the case so that shouldn't be a problem and it might get a little tricky getting that thing back inside the case. There are lips surrounding the can. Well, it's almost there, but those edges designed to keep the connector in now keep the connector out. I'm afraid that I won't be able to straighten them. But I can try. It's back in there. Let's actually try to bend the outer ring back to hopefully secure it to the case without breaking the case actually. Now I'll be soldering it anyway, so let's just heat up the soldering iron. So it's actually quite a uh, fairly easily fix, just bending the connector back in place and now soldering it back together and it should work again because the actual data wire data lead is still connected, not broken, not damaged and just looks all fine. I'm not going to tweak anything of the uh, potential meters that's, that are on here because that will most probably break everything. I'm just going to leave this as it is. But I will be soldering the connector back to the case. We will definitely need that one. Now let's clean up the soldering tip and proceed with the soldering. Now I will be soldering it at the inside. Trying not to touch anything else of course. But that's rather hard. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's starting to look like something. Yeah, that will most definitely stay in place. That is fixed. Let's wait for it to cool down since this is probably rather hot and this feels absolutely solid. You can see that the whole case is moving around when I put uh, some pressure on it. So that's really good. Now let's uh, get this can cover back on here right this way. Yes, like so. And let's uh, install this back in the receiver. And we'll uh, test it out. So let's go to the tuner. Well, that all sounds really good. So let's, yeah, all the, the different, oh, all the different presets are working. So everything is working. That's really good. So the, the tuner is fixed and the issue was definitely caused by that little coax connector just popping out of its can. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this uh, short video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.